Hola hombres, hombre bear. And welcome to some Kentucky Route Zero Act One. So we're at Ecu's Oils. Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce the first word, but uh, yeah, so we're here. Uh, I don't really know much about this game. It's some. It's a point and click adventure game. That's what I know in the game. So, right, dog. An old hound in a straw hat. Both have seen better days. Okay, truck. A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painted on its side are the words Lisette's antiques, furniture, glassware, curiosities. Okay, so maybe we're moving something. Alright, so let's visit this um, station here. Look at the man. Joseph sits between gas pumps in a queen and armchair. His hair is grey and his glasses is darkened. Let's talk to him. Hola! Damn, did you hear that wreck? Truck full of bottles. I don't know, beer bottles? Whiskey? Lost a tire or something and spilled booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess. I hope they don't come down here looking for anything. Blew a damn fuse and it's all shut down. You there a dog? What's your dog's name? Okay, so my name is Conway. His name is Homer. Oh, so I, I, I can... <laughs> I could choose. His name is Blue, like um, Gary's dog in uh, Team America. Everybody has a, even my own dog, old Blue. Her name is Blue. Blue sounds like a sweet old hound. I used to know a dog like that. Hey, here's some jerky for Blue. I made it myself. Didn't turn out too well, but I bet a dog will eat it. Getting late, right? I can feel the sun on my neck. I bet it's just a few feet up the horizon. I've been dri driving all evening looking for f five dogwood drive. I got a delivery to make a dogwood, but I'd rather watch the sunset. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been looking for the drive a while. Hey, I understand. You've got to do the job you pay to do. Maybe get some rest somewhere in there. Maybe have a drink, then back at it. There's Valerie in that ri rhythm. Right, so. Ow. Ouch, my chest. Never mind. Maybe it was heartburn. Uh, what's your rhythm like? Oh, I just like to listen to the TV. I used to do a lot of poetry on the computer, but I don't have the ear for it lately. Listen, you and Blue would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of... Uh, well, to get there you got to take the Zero. Route Zero! The Zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer to, to look up directions. We'll have to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker first. I'll be happy to have those whining lights back up. Anyway, it's too damn quiet out there. Out here. The basement door is back there in the office. Appreciate your help, friend. Oh, and here. Take this lamp. It gets dark. Alright. So, let's go inside and into the basement, I guess. Go into the basement. Basement. Don't eat my dog, please. Oh, okay. So let's see. Okay, so I can turn. Why would I want to turn it off? Basement people. Emily, Ben, and Bob sit in folding chairs behind a worn car table. Papers, only shaped dice, and highway maps covered tabletop. Let's talk to them. Hello. I just come and work like you. <clears throat> Have you all seen a break in box down here? Did you hear something? Oh, no, sorry, I was looking at the rules again. It gets easier as you go. Look, you said you roll a 5, right? That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Where did you put that 20 sided die? I don't see it. Did you drop it? Uh, it should be easy enough to find. It closed in the dark. <laughs> okay, so they won't talk to me. Screw you. Sign. Okay. A dusty, rusty sign is bolted onto the wall. Sign. These are the rules. Wha no open flames near gasoline. No consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. In case of sudden darkness, do not panic. Relax. Count backwards from five. Strictly limited time spent in the basement to fewer than three minutes of every hour. 
What is this? Uh, what? What? I guess I can't go down here. Can I? Nope. Okay, let's go back up then. Let's go to the right. See if there's anything. Oh, what? I can't go here. Okay. See if they have something else to say. Guess no response. I just need to get by for a minute. Did you lose something? Oh, <laughs> um, I think it rolled down off to the left there, but I don't see it. Well, I'm not going to go look for it. It's too dark down there. One of you go down and get it, and I'll just study the rules here. Okay, so I guess I'm looking for a dice. Or what? Or what? Where am I? What time is? Oh, okay. Come and picks up the glowing 20 sided die and spades it. The number 5 is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comforting weight. He places the object in his jacket pocket. Now I remember. They gave a hint about it to go in the dark earlier. I was just too stupid to remember. Oh, they. What? Where did they go? Table! Folding chairs and arranged around the. Uh, the chair's empty and the surface of the table is bare. Comic places a 20 sided die on the table. Comic. Uh, let's keep the die. I hope that's not. <laughs> to. 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 Alright, here's the breaker. There we go, electricity is on. Let's go back up to. on the stairs. Exit. Bing, bing, bong, bong. So th this door is shaped like like a horse. Night lights. Hello, Joseph. I oh, know I want. I don't want to look at you. <laughs> I just want to talk to you. Talk to me, Joseph. Is my dog wearing a hat? There it is. Just listen to those lights whine. Yep. Well, I'd better get those directions ahead to the zero. If you don't mind. There were some people only in the basement playing some kind of game, but they're gone now. In the basement? No, I don't think so. Maybe that lamp light was playing tricks on you, huh? Well, this is... what? Well, strange things happen underground, especially in the dark. So, computers in the office, you're looking for Mar Marguez. She knows her way around those roads. She'll get you to the zero. That's where it is, um... Uh, damn, I usually just fill it out. Muscle memory, you know? It's kinda long, kinda like a short poem, I think. One of those short poems that really sums it all up. You'll figure it out. Joseph. Password. Wheels slide loose. The stars drop away. Oh wait. Mm. What? So okay, let's try this. I talk and listen to him talking. It's late. Uh, uh what? Just breathe through the lights one. If we only get later. Password accepted! <laughs> Maybe any combination would have worked. But, anyways, uh, how's it going there? Figure it out, all out? Sure, you are. Messages, address book, games. I wanna play games. No, no, we have, no. We have to do our, our job. Uh, message, no, address book. <laughs> the zero. Uh, we wanted to ask Marquez, what? Yeah. Around the Macondo Lane. Head northeast on 65 and turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's always on fire. Look for the barn at the base of the mountain there. Can't miss it. Got it? Got out there on Macondo somewhere, right? Yeah, that's it. Hey, look, while you're down there, I loaded that old TV of mine into your truck. Bitch. I borrowed that thing from Weaver Marquez a number of years ago. Uh, now that I 
that the power is all weird over here. I can't pick up anything with say in public access anyways. Uh, she has was always more of a reader, but maybe she'd want it back at home. It's a nice TV. Alright. Let's deliver that TV, I guess. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. But I'm actually gonna end this episode right here before we go and deliver the TV. So yeah, I wanna thank you for watching. Gracias por ver. Like and subscribe for more Kentucky Route Zero Act 1 gameplay. I wish you a fun day, and until next time, hasta luego.